Greetings, my cosmic explorers. This is May Tobol, back with another episode of Cosmic Whispers, where science meets attitude. What is dark matter? A particle? A phantom? A flaw in our understanding of gravity? We don't know yet. Solving this dilemma will change everything. Today, we will be discussing the mystery of the dark matter that remains one of the greatest galactic secrets. This topic is both challenging and profoundly exciting. As always, I've invited my intellectual co-pilot Brian to help me navigate this complex subject. Brian, take the floor. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. In the vast theater of the cosmos, where stars dance and galaxies swirl like brush strokes on an infinite canvas, there exists something we cannot see, but cannot ignore. It pulls at the edges of reality, tugs at the fabric of space-time, and yet remains maddeningly elusive. This unseen force is known as dark matter, and it may just be the greatest mystery the universe has ever posed. Let us journey together into the shadowy realm of dark matter an invisible titan that shapes the very structure of the cosmos even as it evades our every attempt to grasp it. Imagine walking through a forest at night. You hear rustling leaves, feel the wind, sense the presence of something just beyond your vision. That's what studying dark matter feels like. It doesn't glow, reflect light, or interact with anything in the way ordinary matter does, and yet its gravitational grip holds galaxies together like glue in a cosmic mosaic. We can't touch it, taste it, or photograph it directly, but we know it's there, because without it, galaxies would fly apart, stars would drift aimlessly, and the universe as we know it wouldn't exist. Some scientists suggest we call it dark substance, instead of dark matter, a small but meaningful shift. After all, this isn't some philosophical abstraction, it's real stuff, or at least real effects from something unknown, quietly shaping the destiny of the universe. The idea of dark matter is older than you might think. In the 18th century, astronomers speculated about dark stars, objects so massive that not even light could escape their pull. Though these early musings were forgotten, they eerily foreshadowed black holes. Fast forward to the 20th century. Astronomer Fritz Zwicky noticed something odd. Galaxies in clusters moved so fast they should have torn themselves apart. He proposed an invisible mass must be holding them together, a kind of cosmic Velcro. Decades later, Vera Rubin confirmed the phenomenon by observing how stars orbit their galaxies. They move too quickly, as if dancing to the rhythm of an unseen drummer. Thus, dark matter stepped, or rather slithered, into the spotlight. It's like trying to catch smoke with a fishing net. Since dark matter doesn't emit or absorb light, we can't simply point a telescope at it. Instead, we watch how it affects the things we can see. Spectroscopy, the art of decoding light, has been our guiding star. By analyzing how light shifts when stars move toward or away from us, we can map their speeds and infer the invisible mass pulling on them. Stars near our solar system zip along faster than expected. Galaxies spin like runaway carousels. Clearly, something unseen is holding the reins. And then there's gravitational lensing, nature's own magnifying glass. When light from distant galaxies bends around massive objects, it creates distorted images, sometimes even perfect rings. Recently, scientists observed a strange double ring suggesting two massive lenses, but only one galaxy was visible. The second, a ghostly clump of dark matter, perhaps? Science fiction writers dream of alien civilizations and time machines. Physicists dream of dark matter candidates. Here are the top contenders. Machos, massive compact halo objects like black holes or faint stars. They're real but not numerous enough to account for all dark matter. Wimps, weakly interacting massive particles. These hypothetical particles play hard to get, interacting only via gravity and the weak nuclear force. Many still bet on wimps. Sterile neutrinos, a ghostly cousin of the neutrino, interacting only through gravity. Some experiments hint at their existence, but the jury's out. Axions, tiny lightweight particles that might be hiding in magnetic fields. If found, they'd be a Nobel-worthy discovery. Each candidate presents a unique challenge. Detecting dark matter is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. If the needle were invisible, didn't want to be found and had a PhD in quantum physics. 
What if dark matter isn't missing, it's imaginary? Some scientists argue that instead of searching for invisible matter, we should question whether gravity behaves differently on cosmic scales. Modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, suggests that gravity strengthens slightly under certain conditions which could explain galactic rotation curves without dark matter. But MOND stumbles when explaining other phenomena, like the formation of galaxies or the distribution of matter in the early universe. For now, dark matter remains the most plausible explanation. Imagine the universe as a baby. Born smooth and hot, it began life with tiny ripples in density. Over billions of years, those ripples grew into galaxies, stars and planets. But without dark matter, this process would have taken longer than the universe has existed. Dark matter acted as scaffolding, its extra gravity giving normal matter the push it needed to form structures. Without it, the cosmos might still be a featureless soup of gas. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, peering back to the dawn of time. It recently spotted ancient stars made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, stars that shouldn't have formed because they lacked the heavy elements needed to cool down and collapse. One theory, dark matter provided the heat needed to ignite these primordial fires. And here's the kicker, those same stars may have collapsed into the supermassive black holes found in young galaxies, something current models struggle to explain. Meanwhile, the mysterious double Einstein ring has turned heads. One of the lensing masses doesn't align with any visible object, possibly revealing a clump of dark matter separate from the galaxy itself. If confirmed, this could tell us whether dark matter particles interact with each other, even slightly. From deep underground labs to the Large Hadron Collider, scientists are throwing everything they've got at the dark matter puzzle. Xenon detectors sit in silence waiting for a rare collision between a dark matter particle and an atomic nucleus. Particle colliders smash protons together hoping to create dark matter in the lab. Even AI is joining the fray. Tools like Yandex's Alice help pass complex data, track missions like Bepi Colombo and make astrophysics more accessible than ever. So we, what is dark matter? A particle? A phantom? A flaw in our understanding of gravity? We don't know yet, but solving this mystery will change everything, from our view of galaxies to our concept of reality itself. It may take decades, it may take centuries, but the pursuit itself is part of the beauty. Because sometimes the most profound truths lie not in what we see, but in what we don't. Stay tuned. The universe is whispering. And we're finally learning how to listen. And that's a wrap my starry-eyed friends. Remember, the universe sends whispers, not shouts. So tune in and trust the process. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Astro Insights, and leave a comment to share your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious, stay magical, and keep shining like the star you are.